Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for taking time out of your busy days to uh, join us for another installment of Life Insurance Awareness Month's uh, Life Insurance Awareness Month uh, webinar. My name is Matt Alina, and I'm one of the marketing representatives here at URL Insurance Group. I'm, you'll notice on most of our slides today, you'll have our contact information, which is 800-926-8875. My direct extension is 141. And you can also visit us on our website at urlinsgroup.com. For those of you who are new to URL, let me just make a real brief introduction to your URL Life Markets team. It is headed by Steve Clemens, who is the Vice President of our Life Markets team. He's at extension 132. You have your marketing representatives, myself and Joey Fry. My extension, as I said, is extension 141. Joey's extension is 157. We can help you on the marketing side with the with case design, as well as preliminary underwriting risk assessments and different sales concepts and a whole lot more. Anything on the front end, Steve, myself, Joey, we can help you with that. When you submit an application, your case managers take over. Your case managers are Rosemary Evans and Rachel Cook. Rosemary handles agents with last names A through L, and Rachel handles agents' last names M through Z. Rosemary's extension is 127. Rachel is extension 130. If you have any licensing or commissions questions, you can contact Judy Warner, and she is at extension 109. And as I mentioned, you can find us on the web at urlinsgroup.com. So who is URL Insurance Group? Maybe you've been around in the business and you've come across URL Insurance Group but really don't know much about us. Well, we're a, a we're a family-owned, full-service, national, one-stop brokerage. And we believe in, that the insurance business is really all about people, people who want to provide customers with great products and services, and it, that you'll have peace of mind knowing that the products that you're getting from URL are going to be uh, vetted, that they're going to be the best products that are available for your client to help your client reach their particular financial goals. At the end of the day, we're all in the people business, and we appreciate the business that you do with URL. Just to let you know, we do specialize in annuity solutions, employee benefits, life markets, health plan options, Medicare offerings, as well as ancillary products like critical illness, disability, dental vision, and so on and so, on and so forth. Our website, urlinsgroup.com. You can use our temporary username and password. The temporary username in lowercase letters is future, and the temporary password in lowercase letters is partner. And that'll get you into our website so that you can kind of see what we're all about. You'll be able to run quotes, get forms, and so on. So uh, give that a try. If you have additional questions, you can always contact one of the marketers here at URL. We have a robust portfolio of life, uh, life carriers. We have approximately 40 different life carriers, and it's really, um, we're not, uh, we basically have the ability to search for the best products, uh, the best services. Not every product, not every carrier is going to be uh, the product or the, the, the carrier uh, that's going to best fit your client. Um, so, we, but we do the shopping for you. As you may be aware, September is Life Insurance Awareness Month. And our our goal, our mission here at URL for the month of September is to provide you with the tools and resources and to provide you really a fresh new approach to sharing the importance of life insurance. When you are selling life insurance, what you are doing is extremely important. And we've covered in weeks prior to this week, we've covered how uh, term insurance can help people and families main, pay off a, a, a mortgage or pay for the kids to go to college or pay off some loans. And you, you, what you're doing is you're helping those families. We're going to get into a different aspect of life insurance and something that a little bit beyond, a little more forward thinking. So we're gonna be uh, discussing that here in just a few minutes. Uh, so during this month, and you probably have already noticed it, but we've been sending out emails with shareable consumer friendly marketing pieces. We have social media content that if you're following URL Insurance Group on Facebook, you'll be able to um, 
share that information on your own Facebook page to your, your clients. Uh, we have the web training opportunities and different sales tips that we'll be providing uh, throughout the month of September. Even though September is Life Insurance Awareness Month, remember that is something that can continue on into the many months ahead, October, November, December, and really into the beginning of a new year. Uh, so these sales materials are not just for Life Insurance Awareness Month, it's really for the entire year. And it's to really kind of refresh and re reinvigorate your passion about life insurance. The Life Insurance Awareness Month spokesperson is Danica Patrick and her big message for this year is it's time to get financially fit. Uh, and the other thing that Life Insurance Awareness Month, which is brought to us by lifehappens.org, uh, you will find that uh, they have different shareable facts. This one coming from Robert F. Kennedy, write your troubles in the sand, carve your blessings in stone. Just something to uh, wait, raise the awareness of, of life insurance. And these are materials that you can share on Facebook and through Twitter and all the other social media as well as uh, sending emails to clients the old fashioned way. So all throughout the month of September, we've discussed different sales opportunities and different uh, initiatives with life insurance. So we're joined this morning by John Lovejoy from National Life Group. He's going to be discussing with us two, we're getting two for the price of one today, uh, the perfect employee and the Roth safety shoot. So good morning, John. Thank you very much for joining us. And let me give you uh, control of the presentation and you can take her away. Fantastic here. Thank you, Matt. It's a pleasure to be here. And let me go ahead and open up the screen. And Matt, let me know when you can see my screen. I can see your screen. Okay, fantastic. Thank you everybody for joining today. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, listening in and uh, Matt, I always appreciate the opportunity to visit and share ideas. And uh, before I get going, I don't want to assume that uh, everyone knows who National Life is. So we are a National Life Group and we are comprised of two companies, National Life and LSW or Life of the Southwest. And we are 16 decades under one name, National Life. And that's important today as carriers are are going through various uh, forms of evolution. Uh, we, we have been a steady name for over 168 years. We are the third oldest mutual company in the business. We were one of the original three carriers to get into the IUL business about 20 years ago, and we've remained in the top three in written premium in IUL consistently every year for almost 20 years. And uh, we uh, are a innovative company. We came out, uh, we were the first company to come out with a living benefits story in 1937. And it's nice to see other carriers today that are entering the living benefits conversation. And, uh, but it's nice to know that we've been doing it for a long time and we, we feel like uh, we continue to get better with each uh, addition and, and uh, uh, improvement to our policy series. So we do a lot of different products. We do term, we do whole life, we do universal life, survivorship, uh, but our bread and butter product is our Flex Life IUL. Uh, before I get into my sales idea, I'd like to coattail on something very important that Matt said. You know, we it's great that we have a month that's reserved or special recognition, uh, Life Awareness Month, but I, I couldn't uh, agree more with what Matt said. I just uh, this past year celebrated my 40th year in this business. And uh, when I started in the business in 1977 with Metropolitan, I was given a book called the Project 100 book. And this was basically 100 people that were near and dear to me that I have uh, 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 emotional ties, either friendship or family. And um, uh, so we had to identify 100 different people that would give us 15 minutes to share a sales idea or a concept. And 40 years later, I still work off from that same basis. Uh, because one of the things that I worry about as, uh, as I uh, go throughout my life is that I may have to go to a funeral someday and stand face to face with a friend or a family member 
and uh, learn at the wrong time that they w did not have life insurance or uh, they didn't replace their group term or they were drastically underinsured. So I take that very, very serious. So I would encourage you uh, to maybe take a, a few moments after today's presentation and maybe come up with a list of 100 people that you'd hate to read in the paper uh, or get a phone call that one of your friends or family passed away. And let that be your, your fire that you need in order to pick up the phone and start asking for appointments to share ideas. And one of the things that I think is an incredible door opener as you get going is the living benefits story. Because uh, no longer does someone have to die to receive a benefit. And I won't get into living benefits uh, in, in real deep detail today, and maybe we can do that at another time, but I will be scratching uh, the surface on that conversation a little bit today. And there's never been a better time, in my opinion, to get out there and initiate a conversation because you should know as an advisor that most people are unaware of living benefits and how they can access their policy benefits uh, while they are alive as opposed to uh, only when someone dies. Well, I'd like to get into my two sales ideas today because uh, one of the things that, that uh, uh, in my travels, uh, it, it always comes up, John, how can you help me uh, increase uh, my income? What can I do to get more appointments so that I can tell my story? That seems to be a, a universal problem that every agent has in the business. And I want to share with you today a couple of very simple door opening uh, sales ideas that I have been using for many, many years. The, per the first one is called the perfect employee. And my pitch to you is, as you sort of think about this uh, next few minutes on the perfect employee topic is, could you use an extra $50,000 in income by the end of the year? I think uh, most people would say, man, if you could do that, you'd be a hero. Well, these two sales ideas, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced, will put you well on your way in order to uh, attain a $50,000 additional income stream by the end of 2017. And if you can do, uh, if you can do that, think of what you could do if you had a full 12 months in order uh, to make these uh, programs, uh, put them into action. So this first story is called the Perfect Employee Story. And I like to start this way. And Matt, I'm going to include you in my conversation. And, and uh, if you would, role play with me. And sure. um, um, yeah, I, I, I'm in the uh, Pennsylvania area today, Matt. I'm visiting with some of my, uh, my business accounts today. I got here early and I noticed URL Insurance Group. And Matt, it, I know someone I think you should have a conversation with. And this person is a hard worker. They're a team player. They're skilled, they're loyal, they're honest. And um, you know, I like to call this, this person a, the closest thing to a perfect employee that's out there. Uh, in addition to those skills, they're disciplined, action-oriented, they're creative, adaptive, and they're a problem solver. And if I could introduce you to an employee, Matt, that possessed all of those different skills, and to you, the owner or one of the key uh, uh, drivers of URL insurance, what if this employee was willing to go to work tomorrow and they didn't require health benefits, there was no need for a retirement plan, they're, they're willing to work without sick days or vacation days, and you as the business owner, there's no need to pay unemployment or workers' compensation on that employee. Sounds good. <laughs> Where do I sign them up? Where do you sign them up? Well, it gets better, Matt. What if, after I introduce you to this employee, they had another skill, Matt, and that is they could go to work for you, the owner of the business, and their job was to produce you an, an additional $50,000 of tax-free income per year. Sounds like a pretty good employee. Excellent. Matt, what would you be willing to pay someone that possessed all of those different qualities? 50 bucks an hour, 20 bucks an hour, 15 bucks an hour. What do you think? <laughs> well, if I'm not paying their benefits and unemployment, I'd probably pay them 50 bucks an hour. <laughs> exactly. Well, Matt, thanks for playing with me. Folks, this first door opener sales idea is what I call a cocktail napkin opening. And that is what can, can you replicate that story I just gave you? I know someone I think you, should, you would like to meet. 
they're looking for a job, they're ready to go to work tomorrow, they're hardworking, disciplined, honest, they have integrity, they're not going to require benefits, they're not going to ask for sick days or vacation days, and they're going to go to work for you, the owner of the business, with the goal of producing an additional $50,000 a year of tax-free income. Now, what's, am what's amazing about this door opener is I, if you give this to 100 uh, people that own small businesses, 98 of them are going to do exactly what Matt just did. They're going to participate in your conversation, and most of them are going to say, I'd pay him 20 bucks an hour, 50 bucks an hour. The second thing that they're going to say is, when do they want to go to work? That's... Uh, that, that is almost a universal response, and, and, they'll, and these small business owners will give it to you immediately. Well, Matt, what if this employee was willing to go to work for minimum wage? Could your business afford one more employee at minimum wage? Sure, absolutely. Well, one of the things that spawned this idea several years ago, I did a presentation down in Fort Lauderdale uh, it was a continuing ed, uh, ed uh, uh, meeting for their Financial Advisors Association. And I was the uh, designated speaker at, lunch, at their lunch event as well. And uh, I, I, I had a, uh, an idea centered around a business concept. And I, there were about 200, 300 people in the audience. And I asked the show of hands, how many of you have written in the last 12 months a policy, a life case that was $15,000 or more of premium. Now, I was in Fort Lauderdale, a rather affluent area, and quite frankly, my presentation was built around a lot of them raising their hand. To my shock, only about three or four people in the audience raised their hand. Well, I was quick to think on my feet, and I said, well, how many of you would like to close a case for $15,000 of premium? And I gave them this sales idea over lunch. And it was, it was a home run for these people because everyone was looking for more daytime activity. They were looking for ways to have a more user-friendly way to get in front of a small business owner. And this was the approach that I gave them. And it's the one more employee story at minimum wage, what I've coined over the years, the perfect employee story. Now, what we're going to do with this is if you take and quickly do the math, 725 an hour times a 40-hour work week comes up to just uh, a little over $15,000 a year. And for a lot of us that have been in the business, you know, we always leave the hardest part of the presentation for the tail end, and that is asking for the money. Well, imagine a presentation where you could get the verbal, either the, the visionary, visionary nod or the verbal yay that they could afford one more employee at minimum wage. You just got your premium commitment for $15,000. Now it's just a matter of explaining to them what this program is, who this employee is, and, and how it's going to work. Well, normally, I have my present, my picture in this slide right here, and that would be, hey, and I reach my hand out and I shake hands with Matt, and it's like, Matt, I'm your guy. Now, I'm not going to show up every day at your office, Matt, because I'm going to be working quietly behind the scenes in order to make this plan work for you, Matt. And what I'm going to do is incorporate a program that's going to be centered uh, maximizing the benefits of life insurance. And what we're going to do is to build a safety net around uh, some things that could happen that could either shorten, uh, you know, uh, uh, create a financial hardship to the business or to your family as a business owner. And what we're going to do is to use life insurance as the funding mechanism. So what, what I'd like to do now is to uh, shift slides, if you bear with me one second. Uh, what I want to do here is I want to get in, in here and reduce my screen and bring up the – Matt, where is my little minimizer button here? Okay, we're having an issue here. Okay, let's move this over here. Okay, here we go. All right, we'll move in here. What I'd like to do now is to take a moment and open up an actual case 
for you to show you what how this this actual uh, uh, program would illustrate. So Matt, you still with me? I'm still here. Okay. So basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my case design now, and I'm going to construct this sample case. And I, incidentally, I carry a sample with me at all times, Matt. If if I were to come out and work with you on a joint call day, I would have this perfect employee story with me. I, I've condensed it to one page. Uh, I condense my, my elevator speech to basically a cocktail napkin story that, uh, you know, one more employee at minimum wage. And then what I have is a sample of how this actual program works. Now, one of the things that I, I like to start as we take a moment to just take a look at this illustration design here, on every National Life or LSW illustration, we start with this very, very powerful three-piece puzzle tool. And that is die too soon, become ill along the way, or live too long. We consider our, we call ourselves uh, the company that focuses on Main Street. Main Street to us is defined as small business owners, teacher educators, and individuals and, and, and families. And what we do, uh, we build our products centered around the needs of those three core marketing groups. And the thing about it is each of those core groups have these three piece puzzles on their mind most of the time. What happens if I die too soon? What happens if I become ill along the way? And if I make it through those two things, well, how do I have a plan where uh, when I retire, I don't outlive my nest egg? And so we, what we have done is on our opening page of every illustration, whether it's term insurance or UL, IUL, whatever it is, we, we build that into uh, our presentation. Uh, one of the things that it just absolutely I love hearing when I'm traveling is that uh, kudos to National Life LSW. Uh, the response I get from the field is that we've got one of the most user-friendly illustration systems in, in the business because what they're really giving you are, are the talking points in order to educate your client uh, and uh, basically walk you through how this program works. And so what we do is we go page by page in here, and let me uh, let me uh, bring this down a little bit and just sort of zoom through some key pages here. So with a stroke of a pen in this particular hypothetical case, I am going to use a male age 45, and I like to quote as a rule. Uh, standard on each of my cases. Again, I've been in the business for decades. Uh, I'm just a big believer in under promise over deliver. So one of the things that I try to encourage agents to do is get out of the habit of putting yourself in the uncomfortable position of having to resell your case in the event they don't qualify for super preferred or preferred. Why not quote every case at standard, and then that way, if the case gets issued preferred or super preferred, Matt, congratulations. My company found you a better than standard risk, and what that means to you, Matt, is you're gonna end up with more cash, more death benefit, and more income uh, because you've been doing a better job of taking care of yourself to the extent we found you a better than standard risk. Matt, how would you feel about that? It sounds super. I'm, I'm yeah. in the same boat with you. I agree. Quote standard, if it comes back preferred, you're not having to sell it twice. Absolutely. And uh, it, 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 it can save the day in many, many cases. Uh, and another thing, and I'll get into this as I move forward in this illustration, what I generally like to do is I like to also uh, scale back the interest rate assumptions. Our current illustrated rate is 7.14. So in most of my plans, I like to use 6%. And again, it's part of my under promise uh, over deliver uh, every year what I, I suggest to small business owners is that we need to do a policy review we can either do it through Skype we can do it FaceTime we can do it face to face but once a year I want to meet with you as an individual or a small business owner and I want to do a rear view look to see how we did and measure that against how we projected because we're, we may have to make some modifications along the way so I get that as a buy-in before we get too deep into the presentation 
So what I see here um, is that with that uh, male age 45, uh, I get an immediate death benefit of $602,307 for that $15,000 premium. Now, what I like to do is I like to use the increasing death benefit option while we're in the funding phase. And then once we move to the distribution phase, then we switch our death benefit option from increasing to level. And what we have here is, Matt, what did I give as a goal uh, as, as, the, uh, as that perfect employee? What were we going to aspire to as a goal? Make $50,000. A year revenue. Of, of tax-free income. Look at this. There's $55,833. Now, remember, I ran this at standard, and I ran this at a lower interest rate. So if either of those two variables improve, we're going to end up with more cash. Well, that's a good problem to have. So this gives you a condensed look of the immediate benefits uh, that, uh, that we could stand to gain once we initiate this problem. The next box that I like to focus on is the second piece of that. Remember, the first piece of the puzzle was what happens if this business owner dies too soon? The second piece of the puzzle is what happens if I, I become ill along the way? Now, sadly, these days, we all have someone in our circle of friends or circle of family that's had one of these four different living benefit triggers, terminal illness, chronic illness, critical illness, or critical injury. And what I know and, and what most people find out when a bad illness hits them, it's very expensive to get sick. It's not just the cost of health care, uh, but it's sometimes having to uh, subsidize lost the wages at work. Uh, a very, very dear friend of mine uh, from Cincinnati uh, was uh, out on a last ride in November last year on his motorcycle, was clipped from behind, uh, and uh, was propelled three cars ahead of him and is a quadriplegic today. And this guy's been very, very successful in his lifetime, but what he's, what he's found out of, out of this situation is he's, uh, even with great insurance, he's almost 125000 in the hole. And the reason for that, he's got hotel expenses, he's got transportation costs, he's got gaps in his medical insurance, medical insurance that he didn't anticipate. There are all kinds of things that people find out the hard way that cause them great deals of financial difficulty at a time when they're trying to focus on getting well. So living benefits can often uh, be a, a, a lifesaver, if you will, by providing valuable benefits in the event of terminal illness, chronic illness, critical in illness, and we're the only company today out there with critical injury benefits. Uh, and and uh, those are four more triggers that we added a few years ago so that uh, we are now up to 17 triggers. Triggers are simply access points. How can you tap into your death benefits while you're alive? So what I'd like to do is just, I'm not gonna get into detail in each of these pages, but what I will do is I will send this full illustration to Matt at the conclusion of my program today. And if you would like a copy of this, reach out to Matt. And uh, I will also volunteer, if, if there's interest, to basically do a deeper dive in how to get licensed with National Life, how do you access our website and run illustrations, you know, what can we do in order to help partner with you to grow your income by another fifty dollars to $100,000 in the next 12 months. So here again are our three puzzles that are broken out that kind of focus on these valuable living benefit riders and uh, give the client an idea of what kinds of money that will be available. What I like to do here is if you notice under additional benefits, we have some unique riders. We've got a rider called the Charitable Matching Gift Death Benefit Rider. This is a free rider. And if the client will designate on an application that they would like to donate, Two, up to 2% of their death benefit, uh, then when, when they die, uh, what National Life LSW will do will be to take that 2% of their death benefit and send it to the charity of their choice. If it's a 503C, uh, then, then if it's a qualifying charity, 
uh, we will take that off the top of their death benefit. And then the National Life Foundation matches that gift. So it's 2% up to $1.5 million. So the maximum is 30,000. And then National Life will also match that contribution by 30,000. Now, if you have clients, business clients that uh, work for charities, well, charities are always looking for ways to raise revenue. Go out and tell them about this this free rider called the Charitable Match uh, Rider available through LSW National Life. It's free. The only time you can elect it is on the application. We've got a death benefit protection rider that will extend the death benefit, provided minimum premiums are paid. We've got index crediting strategies rider. We are an indexed uh, player and have been for almost 20 years third in the business. We also have a very unique rider that is a free rider while you're in the accumulation phase. Matt, when you, when you and I illustrate a case, we have to use some assumptions. You know, the current rate is 7.14, and as I mentioned, uh, I like to dial it back 100 basis points uh, to in the six range, and uh, just to just be a little bit conservative. But we have a rider, Matt, that basically, when it's time to turn off the premium and it's time to turn on the income, we can ask our client, would you like that income guaranteed for life or non-guaranteed for life? This is not over loan protection. We have that as well. But this is taking the cash value, turning it into guaranteed income all the way out to age 121. Matt, I would assume you you sell uh, guaranteed uh, income annuities? Yes, absolutely. So think of this as very similar to a GLEAR rider on an annuity. So uh, we've had this for a number of years, and it gives your client the ability at the time of uh, distribution to have that income guaranteed. There is a 60 basis point charge that kicks in once the rider is initiated, uh, but think uh, one of the things that I found dealing with small business owners or life insurance is supplemental income. The older clients get, the more they like the guaranteed word. So it's nice when you have the ability to guarantee income for life. So the only thing that we have to manage along the way, Matt, is we don't know what interest rates are going to be year to year. And that's why it's so important for us to do policy reviews. Absolutely. Policy reviews are very important. So now let's move through the summary of coverages page. You know, I just give you a quick look at this and then I'm going to fast forward because we're on a schedule here. But again, these will be sent to uh, URL and you, you can take these, go through them, mark them up, make notes, and, uh, and I'll be happy uh, to go through these in greater detail at another time. Uh, over here, we're going to start, uh, let's get into, uh, let me just get into our income page here for the sake of saving some time. Oh, before I do that, this is a powerful page. This page is in every illustration. It's, it's uh, you don't have to ask for it. It's just there. But uh, what you can see over on the, the gray shaded area is since we're an index company, indexed simply means we have a different way of crediting interest. There's either traditional universal life way of crediting interest, where it's declared in advance, and it's usually guaranteed for a year, but also many companies are at their all-time lows. In the past, if you didn't like a, a fixed rate of uh, return, then uh, we went out to variable life, and variable life works great when you're in a bull market, but it uh, tends to give a little bit of heartburn when you're in a bear market. And so what we found 20 years ago is there was a, a gaping need for something in the middle, something that would give upside potential with downside protection. And that's when we designed the, uh, the uh, uh, index universal life strategy. And so what these, this page here shows you is what, how the actual year to year has performed over the last 20 years. And had you had a policy, what would you have actually earned in that particular situation? Now, it's really amazing, Matt, about this is look at the first column where it talks about the point-to-point -point, uh, one-year focus. Uh, see the cap is 12.5%. Right. Look at the number of times throughout the past 20 years where it's this. our plans have either run at zero 
or 12.5%. So why is that important? The reason that that is important is built in every index product is something called annual resets. When the market is down, there's an annual reset so that we peg that S&P number at the lower point. So when the market does heat back up, then you've got a greater chance of reaching your cap quicker. And then once you earn that, you never risk losing that money again. And uh, if you ever need a training uh, situation on Index Life, I'm happy to do that. I do three or four a day. So uh, let me know if I can help you uh, gain a deeper comfort level on Index products. Happy to do that. So now let's just quickly look through our 15,000 and we'll take a look at the, uh, the distribution phase and we'll move on to our second sales idea. Okay, so here we are. Oh, whoops, excuse me, I went too fast. Okay, right here. We are showing, um, all right, so I wanna, I wanna go back here and apologize because on this one, I did run it at uh, current interest rates. So uh, this, this one here needs to be adjusted. Um, 15,000 will be my premium from 45 to age 60, uh, 66. And then starting at age 67, which is the new, uh, the old age 65, we start showing income for life and going all the way out to age uh, 121. So this is our uh, first sales idea centered around the perfect employee. Uh, how to, let's recap real quickly. I have someone I think you should, you'd like to meet, Matt. This person's looking to go to work tomorrow. They're hardworking, loyal, integrity. They basically uh, don't require benefits, no FICA match, no uh, sick days, vacation days, uh, no, no uh, health insurance benefits. And uh, basically they wanna go to work for you, the owner of the business. And the goal in mind is to find you another $50,000 a year of tax-free income. Can your business afford one more employee at minimum wage? Absolutely. All right, fantastic. Uh, I'm going to uh, move on to the second idea here. And if you bear with me while I change screens. Uh, Matt, any comments, um, anything uh, before we move on? Uh, nothing yet. If anyone does have any questions, feel free to type those questions while we're going here and I will uh, read those questions aloud and we'll have John answer those questions for you. Um, if okay. you raise your hand, I, I can uh, unmute your phone and uh, or your computer microphone and uh, you can ask your question aloud. So Great. Okay, so the second idea is, is centered around what I call the power of the reserve chute. And what this is going to do, this story is basically designed to integrate with, um, the, uh, with the importance uh, uh, for the, everyone to have a Roth IRA. I like to start the program out this way. Have you ever wondered, Matt, why some people like to jump out of an airplane at 10,000 feet? I mean, really, it, it, it's kind of a crazy thought. Uh, you know, I, I, I only did it one time and, uh, you know, I, I, uh, the door opened, you know, I'm in the plane, my knees are shaking like crazy. You know, I jumped out of the plane, screamed like a wild person you know, hit the pavement, and I, I, I was never so thankful that the plane had never left <laughs> the runway. <laughs> so that, that was my only experience. <laughs> usually when I'm asking clients questions, uh, when the, that question comes up, I usually change the wording and I say, do you plan on jumping out of a perfectly good airplane? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I, uh, I don't need to be tempting fate because while I'd like to think I'm Mr. Smiley, you know, my chute might be the one that goes up in flames or gets tangled on oh. the way down. So somewhere along the way, whoever designed the parachute, someone must have thought, you know, it's probably a good idea to have a reserve chute. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it only takes having to use it once in, in order to make you appreciate the fact that, you know, you're thankful that you had a backup plan. So I like <laughs> to take that school of thought 
and and say, well, what in the world has that got to do with a Roth IRA? Well, I, what I want to do with you now is I want to share an actual conversation with you that I had with my own CPA. Uh, for 25 years, they've done my tax returns. And last uh, year, uh, I, I basically took this one page that you see right here. And uh, one, one thing that I try to do, Matt, over, uh, over the years is uh, to come up with a menu of what I call cocktail napkin door opening uh, ideas, stories. So that something that you could either put on a cocktail napkin or give us an elevator speech and, and, and basically do it in about two minutes time. And so what I did is I came up with this slide that you see right here that was my, my cocktail napkin, if you will, to my CPA after she had finished my taxes. And basically my pitch to her was, Charlotte, um, how many tax returns are you going to do this year? And they indicated that they were going to do around 3,000 returns. And I said, now, how many of them would you suppose you'll see a need for some type of IRA help, either a traditional Roth, uh, traditional IRA or a Roth IRA? And she said, oh, my gosh, quite a few. Then I said, well, what is your process? in order to help those people that need a Roth. And they had a financial advisor that worked uh, in-house, but they at that point were pretty much structured to go after the assets under management. Uh, they were looking for the people that already had the wealth accumulated rather than helping people build the wealth. I mean, that really wasn't the way that they would stru were structured. And so as is the case that I do all the time when I'm face-to-face -face with agents or or, or, or clients, it's like, could you use an extra 50,000? And she said, if you did that, you'd be my hero. I said, okay. What I want to do is give you a very simple uh, uh, idea here. And that is, if you see a customer that has a need for an IRA of some sort, which would be the way that you would lean them uh, to solve that problem? Would you typically advise them to buy a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA? And she said, oh gosh, unless they have a tax reason for doing so, I would, I would suggest everybody have a Roth. Well, I agree with that. And, and, and it's hard, Matt, to pick up any financial publication today where someone's not writing articles about the need and importance of Roth IRAs. They're the greatest thing that have ever been designed for the consumers. So what I like to encourage advisors to do is next time you read an article in Money Magazine or Fortune or whatever the, whatever the, the article was, get professional copies done. I mean, there are some agents that go out and make photocopies or go down to the print shop, but I like to get glossy professional reprints. And what I like to do is I like to get a, I go to my, my, my office supply place and I like to get post-it notes. And, and uh, when I was selling, I would put little post-it notes. Matt, thought you might like this article on Roths. Can we meet for coffee? John. Rather than the old form letters that are typed and no one ever reads them, what I found is when you send somebody a professional reprint with a post-it note that's handwritten, you're much more likely to get a chance to have coffee with that individual because they're going to say, wow, number one, Matt thought of me. He took time to write me a personal note, and yeah, I'm curious what's on his mind. So find an article that you really can get behind and get some reprints done, get you some post it notes and send out 20 of those a week and then do a telephone follow up and become an expert in IRAs. You can do that with a cup of coffee in an hour, just, you know, reading uh, and I'll send you some some information on Ross that'll help you become uh, uh, competent in, in, in explaining what Ross are and how they work if you need that. But what we know, first of all, is with IRAs, whether Roth or traditional, not everyone can qualify. Some, because they are qualified plans, they have income restrictions. So if you make over 196000 because of the phase out, you're not eligible. If you're single, over 130000 133000 So if you make a lot of money, you may be precluded from buying an IRA, a Roth IRA. Well, 
Matt, wouldn't you think those are also the people that, that can afford and would like to have a place to defer more income? But, Absolutely. Uh, but here they, they are being uh, precluded from doing so. Because it's a qualified plan, uh, qualified plans I think of as plans with the IRS blessing. Whenever the IRS gives us anything that's good, they always put restrictions and they always put caps on them. So the restrictions are who can qualify, and and I'll you know if you need that, I'll send you that information as a as a follow up. Uh, but the second thing is what are the caps? Well, there are caps in how much you can contribute. If you're under age 50, the max is 5,500, and if you're over 50, then you have a thousand catch up that you can put in addition to your 5,500. Well, what we know essentially, if we just follow this sheet down, what we're essentially buying after that are two things. What are we buying, Matt, if I can pick on you? As, ask that question again, John, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, basically, when you buy a Roth, if you qualify for one, where are the two yeses in this column? What are you basically getting? You're getting tax deferred growth. Right. Yeah. Anything else? And tax-free withdrawals. Absolutely. So that's great. And a lot of people, millions of people, thousands of people every year are out buying Roth IRAs because they can do those two things, get tax deferred growth and tax free income. But think back of what I shared with you a few moments ago about the perfect employee story. That is sometimes life happens. And because life happens, sometimes people die along the way. And for others, they get sick, they become ill along the way. I actually have a sample case here that I pulled from what is called a life, uh, a, a, a life probability calculator. And it's out on the web and uh, it's, uh, it's a tool I just stumbled on one day, but you can put in a client's age and you can put in whether or not they smoke. So I put in a husband, a, a, a fellow 35 and a, and a spouse 35, both a male, female, both non-smokers. This risk probability calculator said there is a 60% likelihood that they will suffer a disability before age 65. There's a 40% chance they will suffer a, a critical illness before age 65. And there is a 10% chance one of them will die before age 65. So they have a combined probability of 74% of one of those three things happening before age 65. So let's, uh, let's go back here. Um, what I wanna do now is to take a look at my life insured supplement. The, uh, go back to where the, we can compare the columns. Number one, you notice first and foremost, there are no income uh, restrictions, and there are no maximum contributions unlike the IRA, whether Roth or traditional. They also provide tax-free, defer, uh, tax-deferred growth and tax-free income. But when you walk out of the tax planner's office, as I said to Charlotte, Charlotte, if uh, and every year when I leave her office, Matt, she pats me on the back, walks me to the door, and uh, you know I cross this busy street. And I said to her, suppose I don't make it across the street this year, Charlotte, because someone is texting, they hit me with the car, and man, I'm flat like a pancake on the road. Uh, you're going to go back to the, your desk, put that check for 5500 that I just wrote you from my Roth IRA in an envelope, and mail it to my wife, Darlene, because... You know, I, I, I just got snuffed out. I, got, I had my life cut short early. Well, with the life insurance par program, every client walks out with an immediate death benefit. In this case, 250000 Which check do you think, Matt, my wife would rather receive? 5500 or a quarter of a million? <laughs> <laughs> quarter of a million I mean, if I'm not gone. more <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's exactly right so you've got the immediate death benefit and that grows each and every year so the the paramed shows up they get the paddles out you know they 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 shock me they get a pulse they say man we got john we got him breathing again let's get him to the hospital and then all of a sudden I, I uh, basically go through this long period of recovery. I'm in disability and who knows how long it takes me to get back on my feet. 
Well, one of the most horrifying things anybody can look at is when they're when they uh, when they have had the discipline of setting up a retirement plan, take out five years of contributions somewhere midstream, and watch what happens to the end number if you just go three, four, or five years without making contributions. It can significantly change that end number. Well, one of the things, because this is life insurance, Matt, we have the ability to add a rider that will waive the full $5,500 until I get back on my feet. So in a sense, it becomes self-completing if I never go back to work. So now I've got the death benefit that's an immediate death benefit. I have the waiver of the specified premium so that my, my Roth equal premium, if you will, is going to be contributed as always paying it from my own pocket. And then sadly, if the, uh, the next uh, series of uh, that, that third, the second piece of the puzzle that become ill along the way happens, terminal illness, chronic illness, critical illness, or critical injury, I'm going to be able to access my life insurance benefits while I'm alive in order to help me get well. Uh, it'll take the financial pressure off, hopefully, so I can just focus on getting well. And that's typically uh, what, what's on people's minds. Man, and when they get badly injured or badly ill, the last thing they want to be worried about is money at the same time. So you can step in and provide these valuable living benefits. And man, I'll tell you, your clients will just appreciate uh, these benefits like you wouldn't believe. So if they make it through uh, and they now are ready to turn on the income spigot, and then I have the ability to say, Matt, how would you like this income received? Would you like it guaranteed or non-guaranteed? And uh, suppose you were one of the lucky ones that got to retire at 50 rather than 59 and a half. Again, uh, with, with qualified plans, uh, you've got to be age 59 to access full benefits without penalty. Here with the life insurance pr approach, you can, you're driving, you're, you're in complete control. And so uh, the last thing that, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I my, uh, fast, go back here. Uh, the last thing is, uh, and I said to Charlotte, I said, okay, Charlotte, uh, if your financial advisor happened to write a Roth, what do you suppose they would make, you know, as a commission? She said, oh gosh, maybe 50 bucks. Well, I said, suppose everyone, they made 1,500 to 2,500 per case. How would you feel about that? Well, I gave her this idea, Matt, and she said, John, when my, and this was March 1st, incidentally, she said, when tax season is open, over, I want you to come back and I want you to give this exact presentation to my entire staff. So I left her office. That was on a Monday. I left for a business trip to uh, Indianapolis. I'm on my way into an appointment on Wednesday and my phone rings from my account. And I thought, oh, she messed up on my taxes. I probably owe money, and I got a, a quick sweat. <laughs> so I, I, I answered the phone, and she said, what are you doing Friday at 10 o'clock? And I said, what do I need to be doing? She said, I don't want to wait. I want my staff to hear this story now. So I went back that Friday. I gave them this, these two stories that I just gave to her, uh, to you the one more employee, at, the perfect employee story, one more employee at minimum wage, and I gave them this Roth story. Then I get a call, fast forward, two days before Thanksgiving, and she said, what are you doing next week? And I said, what do I need to be doing? She said, John, I just looked at our commission statement because their advisor uh, got appointed with National Life, and they had, uh, they had uh, produced uh, over uh, $50,000 in commission in six months. And she said, we just scratched the surface. John, you have my attention. Now I want to sit down and I want to learn about what other tools are available that you can help us with. We see a way now to replace some revenues that we're losing because more people are doing their taxes online and blah, blah, blah. So think about it. This story can transcend to anybody. Uh, if, if you just incorporate these two very simple sales ideas around uh, 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 the uh, one more employee at minimum wage or the Roth supplement story, each of these provide life insurance and we're maximizing the use of life insurance by not minimum funding it, 
but maximum funding it. We're providing valuable living benefits along the way, and we're turning it into potential guaranteed income for life. So again, living benefits are very, very important. Uh, there are only a handful of companies that have them today. Uh, just a quick uh, uh, overview with us, uh, living uh, terminal illness uh, definition is two, 24 months with us. Uh, chronic illness is defined as two of six ADLs and, um, uh, or a cognitive impairment. In both of these two uh, uh, living benefits, we will pay out to $1.5 million in benefits. For critical illness and critical injury benefits, that provides uh, 17 different triggers, uh, things like heart attacks, cancer, strokes, uh, brain injuries, paralysis. There's a whole list of them, 17 total, that uh, where we will step in and provide up to $1 million of living benefit money uh, in the event that, the, that they satisfy these triggers. And... Uh, uh, they can access their money while they're alive rather than just waiting for a death benefit to be paid off. The LIBOR benefit, again, is unique. Not every company has it. There's no charge while you're in the accumulation phase. Uh, the, the, basically, the income uh, will provide, once you trigger the benefit, the death benefit becomes guaranteed. The income becomes guaranteed for as long as you live. Uh, it's guaranteed to keep the policy in force. A lot of people don't know this, Matt, but with most companies, when you show distributions, annual income, a lot of people don't realize every year you have to reapply for another policy loan. It is not automatic with most companies. And uh, so with the LIBOR benefit, you only fill the paperwork out. It's a one and done. And uh, so that's, that's, uh, that makes it much easier. So it, it's just a matter of how do you want to receive your benefit? You want to receive it monthly? Do you want to receive it annually? Do you want it guaranteed or do you want it non-guaranteed? There's no risk of, uh, of this policy ever lapsing. And uh, you can start benefits and you can stop benefits. And what's not on this slide is you can even start it at a flat amount or you can have it uh, inflation adjusted. So there is a sample illustration that goes with this as well, and I will send that to Matt. Uh, but I have 11.58, and I'd like to take a pause and just say, Matt, thank you so much for the opportunity to visit with your group today. I promise you this, your listeners this. If you come up with your Project 100, first and foremost, get out there and initiate a conversation with your friends and family and do policy reviews and talk to them about living benefits. Do a Project 100 book as a, as a place to get started. Secondly, think of a dozen business owners, small people that own small businesses, where you could take that one more employee story at minimum wage and go out next week and practice it. And then thirdly, come up with a list of, of folks that you should uh, 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 have a conversation around the importance of Roth IRAs and then have a chance to lay down the, the overfunded IUL story side by side. And many people are going to choose to do one of three things. They're going to choose to buy the life insurance in lieu of the Roth. They're going to buy the Roth or they might buy them both because they see the benefits of, of having both plans side by side. They can save more money that way. So thank you for your time, Matt. I'm turning it back to you. John, I appreciate it. There was a lot of information there. There's some homework for all of us that are uh, on the call today. Uh, as John mentioned, think of some people, family and friends that uh, you would miss if they uh, passed away today. Uh, you would hate to go to their funeral and find out that they did not have enough life insurance uh, or didn't have any insurance at all. Um, so uh, that's one thing. The other thing is, is just the, the napkin sales stories here. Uh, a lot of information here to bring to your clients. And of course, as John mentioned, uh, he's available in the, your marketers here at URL. We're here to help you as well, uh, to help you put together different sales proposals uh, and just to help you grow your business. And we don't work, uh, we're less than minimum wage here too. It's your partnership with URL Insurance Group and our relationship with National Life that we're able to uh, design some great plans that everybody wins. 
So if you do have any questions, uh, John just put his uh, toll-free number on the um, on the screen. You can also call us here at URL. Our toll-free number is 800-926-8875, and my direct extension is 141. I know a lot of times after we break uh, from our call, I'll get phone calls or emails following up with questions. So feel free to contact us. I know that's usually after you've had a few minutes to digest the information, that's when some questions come come up. So that's we're here to answer those questions for you as well. If I don't have the answers, I will certainly be contacting John to uh, get the answers uh, from him. So thank you very much, John. Excellent presentation. We appreciate your time and uh, your knowledge and your ability to share all that information with us. And uh, thank you to all the agents on the call today. We appreciate your partnership. If you have not used URL yet as your life insurance brokerage, uh, feel free to give us a try. Uh, we love the opportunity to earn your business. So at this point, thank you everyone. And we look forward to working with you and helping you grow your business and helping you help your clients. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will talk to you very soon. Bye for now.